doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Well, I had somebody watching the old videos there on making the old gas powered scooter. We got a, ourselves an electric one sent over here to check out and take for a rip ski. So leave the comments below if you want to get yourself one. These ones are inexpensive, they are. They're not no $3,000 scooter. These ones here are running you about six, seven hundred bucks for this scooter. It's pretty neat. It's from Hurdle. Hurdle is a company that sells these scooters on Amazon and other places. But they're, like I said, they're inexpensive. They're pretty neat. So we're just going to go over it real quick and I'll show you and tell me what you think. Why wouldn't you? Right off the get go, I see it has a USB charger for your phones or whatnot. So if you want to charge a phone, you can. You can change it either mile per hour or kilometer an hour. This is your battery indicator. It has three speeds. So we got low, medium, high speed. So it's just one tap, changes the gears. It also has Bluetooth connectability, so you can Bluetooth your phone to it, and then you can see where you've been on the map and judge your distance and everything else like that. If you double tap this, it turns on the headlights, Jim. It's got two headlights in here. I call it One Eye. That's what I'm going to name the scooter is One Eye, by the way. Dirty old One Eye. It's got a brake light at the back, and if you hit the brakes, it flashes. So that's pretty friggin' neat. What else? Charge cable is on the side. Right there, if you pull that down, that's where you charge it, Jim. See right there? He's it. One thing I did notice though about it is the neck's a little bit loose right there. So we're gonna have to check that out because that makes me nervous being a 240 pound dude. Hey? But it's got the throttle and it's got a bell. Decent. And it's also got the old uh, brake lever. This here didn't come with it of course, this is mine. I ordered this for Dick, but Dick's not running right now so that's why I ordered that. It's a 36 volt cart and the motor is in the wheel in the front. Front wheel drive, Jim. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on here and I'm gonna take you for a little uh, gander and whatnot and see how you like her. But we'll turn the headlights off because we don't need them right now. Oh, it also has, when it's on, it also lights up blue on the side. And that's probably so if you forget to leave it on, you can turn it off. Friggin' right, you can. So I'll mount this on here somewhere. Hopefully it doesn't get cocked over. And Well, you're gonna look at my ass there. I can't have you there. Well, let's put you here and you can see how fast it really goes, you can. So it claims it does, what is it, 16 miles an hour on high speed or 30 kilometers an hour. So we're gonna start off. Oh, I turned the damn headlights on, Jim. So we'll start off on low speed and we'll see how many kilometers we get out of it. Now remember, I'm 240 pounds and I'm really gonna have to address that part. So let's go for a little rip down here and we'll see how fast she goes in, in first gear. So we're getting about, with my weight, 15 kilometers an hour. Just remember, when you're braking on a scooter, always lean back as you're braking or you'll go over the friggin' handlebars. So if I do this, if I tap it three times, one, two, three, it goes to miles per hour. So now we'll see how fast it goes on first gear in miles per hour. My bad. My camera's in the damn way. Hold on, boys. Girls, peoples. We're getting about nine miles per hour in first gear. We still got full battery, so we're good there. So let's switch it back to kilometers an hour in second gear. Well, there you go. We're getting about 23, 24 kilometers in second gear. Miles per hour. So there you go. 16 miles per hour in second gear. Third gear doesn't have much of an incline, just so you know. So there you go. Red's, red means danger zone. So we'll go back to kilometers and let's try out the danger zone. There you go, 31 actually. It's 31 kilometers an hour is pretty friggin' cool. So there you go, it's right on the money. It's 19 miles per hour. So that's friggin' hauling ass, Captain. right so there you go my review on this thing is pretty freaking good so far i'll let you know how it keeps working but check the links below if you're interested I looked at a lot of reviews and i haven't seen this one on for a review yet so i'm glad i kind of got to review this thing but if any of you is out there that have other electric scooters that kind of compare to this one don't be afraid to send them my way and i'll do another review on one for you and we'll judge it to another one so hopefully uh we'll have to see how things go jim but i do like this charger option that'll be awesome for charging my friggin cameras when I'm at the track or whatever and it's quiet so that's friggin decent but the old one I oh yeah I forgot it's got a bell too friggin right why wouldn't it have a bell not a bad little thing motor gear but like I said I'm gonna check the front end and see why it's loose let me know in the comments down below if you know why it's loose motor gear why wouldn't you thanks for the uh little dig on the old electric scooter don't forget to subscribe like hit the notification bell bar button if you like these videos and don't forget to tell them dirty old bills have sent you over. Oh, and I forgot to tell you one more thing. It does fold, Jim. So if you push forward, it's a little tricky, but if you push forward, pull up and lean back, 
it will actually fold and you can carry it. Cap. Forgot to show you that. Sorry about that. There you go. If anybody's wondering. So have a good day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And until next time, you know what to do for now.